Okay, so the so the package is there. Most people don't know this, but I am not a morning person. I like to say that my day officially starts after I drink my coffee. It's just one of those things that from there is where I feel I actually start working. Hello? Yeah, I'm a buyer at 2000. Yeah, but even if you're going to try to trade it up, 2000 is what you get. What to a private? Uh 3 grand maybe, 25, 3 grand. That's all you got, man. It's a old school date, you know. With the machine turn bezel. It's tough because you want to help everybody out, but it's almost like, you know, forget about this. Let me worry about this right here. This is the real deal right here. Oh my God. Let's see what we got here. Oh shit. This is the real Monday morning surprise, is this thing right here. like they reused this box. Oh, it's an, AP, it's an AP shipping box. Oof. Black Panther. This has got to be like one of maybe, if not the first one in the US, but very few of them. What's crazy is that it's inside of a Rolex coffin. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Wow, let me take this crap off right here. <laughs> oh yeah, it's smaller. It's smaller than the other concepts. Whew. All right, let's do a review on this today. This is what we're doing. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a review on this. Seems to be the right move to make. This was sent to me by a friend of mine. Um, he's not actually a client. I have not done a single deal with him, but he's a fellow collector. It's not for sale at all. It's just to maybe do a video on it and take some pictures, but um, hello? He, he, he has said what number? 45 or 47 to, for both of them. Okay. You know what I don't wanna play is the game where, where he gets 100,000 offers and then he just goes for the highest one for 100 bucks. Yeah, no, no, no. We're going over there already. We're right, so. So why don't you just tell them that we're gonna go over there and buy the watches and we'll do a deal there in person. Don't get this guy an offer yet because yeah, I- I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna tell him, listen, um, I have a number, of, we have a, we might have a number in mind. We just, I don't wanna tell you until we see the watches in person because the condition, it, it, it's a fact. Back to the Black Panther. I gotta go buy some watches after that. So if you haven't subscribed to my new YouTube channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now before you miss any more of this epic content. This review is gonna be on one of the watches that in my opinion came from completely left field. That is the AP Concept Turbion Black Panther. So the first thing I wanna say is that I am a Chadwick Boseman fan and it's that much more admirable just knowing what he went through making some of these movies that we love most. But this watch right now, in my opinion, focuses more on the actual comic book character, the Black Panther. So, how do I feel about one of my favorite brands, AP Gang, collaborating watches with Marvel Comics? On one hand, you would think it'd be really cool if maybe for the past 10 years, fanatics out there haven't been calling Rolexes, Hulks, and Batmans, and I don't know how there isn't a Superman yet, but that's the only thing that kind of 
initially left me a little bit like, I'm not sure how I feel about these collaborations, only because it cheeses it out a little bit. It has nothing to do with the character or the actor, just more about how do I feel about a hot horology watch brand doing a collaboration with a comic book. On one hand, I don't know yet what's gonna happen, and we'll have to see how it settles in the market. But for right now, I wanna focus on the actual watch. And I wanna tell you that once I got it in my hand and saw it in person, it's a whole different ballgame. So initially, the first thing that I realized when I saw this watch, and it's the most basic simple thing was that it's not as big as all the other concepts. All the concepts I've ever worn in the past were usually 44 millimeter and me having a seven and a half inch wrist. When you put it on, the case is just way too big. And the way that the rubber strap attaches to the case on the concept, it just doesn't let it fold in any way. So there was no way that it could wrap around a wrist of my size. Pretty much the previous concepts from before were made for a lot bigger wrist. So the immediate thing that I noticed was how nice the size of this watch was. It's pretty much a concept that I can finally wear and it just doesn't look ridiculous because it fits very well on the wrist. Another thing I realized is it has that curved bezel and glass that reminds me of the Schumacher lap timer. I feel like that's the first watch that I saw that design on. Although the lap timer was a 44 millimeter and a lot bigger. The next thing I want to say is I like those stripes, the cut in stripes that they put on the shoulders of the watch. That's another thing that enhanced the look of it. The concept tourbillon has always been a watch that well pretty much says it all. It's a concept. So it looks very futuristic, something out of the ordinary. But I feel like little by little, AP has been getting the right blend on this model. The next thing I want to point out is the detail on the actual Black Panther on the dial is so much better in person than when you're looking at it through Instagram or the vlogging post or stuff like that. It starts off in white gold and is hand engraved and painted and it has a lot of detail right down to the eyes and the claws, which you can see that they're shiny. Another thing I did enjoy as well is the fact that this concept has a flying tourbillon. For those of you at home that don't know what the difference is, the difference between a flying tourbillon and a regular tourbillon is that the flying tourbillon does not have the upper bridge. It's only held on the bottom. That gives you a lot more of a visual look on the tourbillon complication, and it looks just that much slicker on a dial like this that has pretty much a character wrapped around it. The only thing that I personally, now that I've seen it in person and worn the watch for 24 hours that I'm not completely thrilled about is the purple. I like purple. It's not that I don't like purple. It's just, I don't know. I feel like it could have been in a gray or a black or something of that nature with maybe some purple accents. You know, I'm sure a black strap with the purple inside will obviously blend really well. But for right now, I just feel like it's a lot of purple. And that's the only thing that I'm not really crazy about. I think that a little bit of a different color would have been so much more. But the one thing that I wanna keep saying that I keep just, I'm actually really excited about it, is I'm hoping that AP is planning on making from now on concepts this size because when you really really think about it who the heck was wearing all these other ones I feel like the only one that really fit on my wrist was the first edition concept but some of my favorite concepts like the GMT and the chronos and carbon they were just too big no matter how much I tried to wear it it was just very big the curved bezel with the glass also helps it feel like it's less bulkier. It's not so top there like that, you know? A little bit more smoother. And I wanna say that this is the most comfortable concept I have ever worn. Mostly due to the fact that it's made out of titanium with a ceramic bezel, so it's really light. For those of you at home that think it should have been made out of vibranium, well, it doesn't exist. It's only for the movie. 
So back to the topic that mostly concerns me is, what does the future hold for AP and these Marvel Comics watches? I think that if they only made this one, it's obviously a limited run of 250, and they just didn't make a whole collection of Marvel comic watch, I think it'd be okay and very special. But I feel like if we start getting all these pieces with these Marvel comics, I just, I don't know how I feel. I'm just worried it might be a little bit cheesy. That's all, okay? It's not the first time that AP makes watches with movie themes or anything like that. They did go away from that for a good little period of about 15 years or so. I don't know, 15, 12, 10, whatever. But for right now, it's officially back. So at about 165,000 US dollars for this watch at retail, it's clearly for somebody that is either a collector or just pretty much a fan of Marvel Comics or Black Panther. Resale right now, well, you already know how it's gonna be. Rumor has it that these watches are going for 450 plus. We'll have to wait and see what happens in the market and see how it settles. Bro, honestly, I would really like to see this watch with a black strap. That's what I was just, right now when I said that, I thought, damn, this needs a black strap. A black strap will change this watch up completely, in my personal opinion. Watch game, so as far as the watch game goes, if you have this watch in your possession and you are wearing it out in the wild, I mean, clearly you are steamrolling some fools out there in the game because one is availability. You just can't get it. To get one of these watches right now from AP, there is no telling what you have had to do to get it. And if you were able to acquire one in the gray market, then you most definitely are a boss and were able to fork up the bill. So comment below what you think about the AP concept Black Panther. And if you think that AP should continue to do these collaborations with Marvel Comics. And if you like this video, like and share it. Also, subscribe to my new YouTube channel.